Hey everyone, welcome to the sanctuary, the safe place to be. No matter what chaos is going on in your life, come hang out with us and be safe. Alright guys, this is the last Epoch, episode 13. Um, Sentinel playthrough, Forge Guard uh, spec. Let's do this. Get our armor out, get some damage going. Yeah, we got this. Killing some enemies. So... I'm glad to get away from all those necrotic damage dealers and the spiders and the scorpions from uh, the last couple of episodes. Looks like we're just fighting some skeletons. That's always nice. Oh, even though these guys jump around like crazy. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody that's uh, liked, comment, and subscribed. Um, and just let everybody know that I really do appreciate it. Keep up the comments. It really, really puts a smile on my face. It lets me know that I'm doing something good and that I'm bringing you good content. Um, also, for those people that haven't subscribed yet, join the Sanctuary. Become a defender of the Sanctuary by subscribing. And click that bell so that you get notifications. Hey, we hit level 38. Good job, everyone. What was that shrine? I didn't even pay attention. Uh, crit shrine. Nice. We did level up, so good job, everyone. Let's grab a point over here. We're going to go Thorn Mill, get more armor and more damage back to enemies when they hit me. Shield throw leveled up. Uh... I don't know what I want to take here. Uh, we'll do that. More armor. And we're going to take more damage here. Um, even though I'm not really using those abilities that much because of mana regen, we probably will down the road. So that'll be nice. Let's clear out some more enemies. we got to find the Majelka way station. Should be nice and easy for us. Um, normal physical damage doesn't really bother us almost whatsoever, so that's always good. So it should be a nice, easy, laid-back run. So, um, I know you guys have really liked the Divinity playthroughs that me and Melons are doing. Just to let you know, we are recording more of those videos. Uh, probably tonight. Uh, we we have been, you know, having some uh, some adult beverages, so it could be fun. You know, we are also going to make it more difficult. Watch the video to find out how. Um, oh, we got a boss, Five Master Zarek. A giant, ugly worm with a skeleton coming out of it fun oh and poison damage ow I know my poison resist isn't as strong as I would like it to be and he summons worms on us let's go ahead and get our shield out no that way we can uh, block some of the damage we take oof not enough apparently that hits hard really need to get some energy gen gear I know I keep saying I'm going to but I keep forgetting to Try not to take a potion if I can. It looks like we're gonna have to though. Oh, my armor died. Let's pull that back out. Definitely need more mana regen though. All right, we're gonna pop a potion just to be safe. Oof, let's get out of that poison. We're wearing them down though. We're taking them out. There we go. Good job everyone. Let's grab these shards. Oh, are you? Okay. <laughs> I thought he was respawning for a second there. Alright, one boss down already. Good way to start off the video. Let's grab this waypoint up here. Looks like we gotta talk to somebody. Oh yeah, we gotta create the waypoint, actually. So let's talk to Alric here. I'm ready. Alright, so we got teleported and completed a quest. So we get another passive point. See what this is. Your manifest armor and summon weapons deal additional physical damage with their melee attacks. That's huge. Uh, you have additional dexterity and your dodge rating is converted to armor. The conversion occurs after modifier, so that's nice. Uh, and strength and increased health. So we're going to get our pets to do some more damage. Why not? So it looks like we can do 60 increased damage for our armor and 40 increased damage for our swords. That's huge because that's flat which means any percentages will buff that. All right, let's talk to this person, get our next quest. All right, yeah, more skeletons. That's good. Man, do you see the damage they took for shooting me? Thornmill might be good. Oh, oh. Can I say in this? Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, big guys hurt. So those archers. Although they're killing themselves, but it still hurts. Get a reflective shrine, do even more damage back to people. Yeah, you can see his life going down when he was hitting me there. 
right, let's keep moving. Ooh, saber tooth tiger. Let's get through these archers, come up to our quest objective. So some fun new enemies to kill, that's always nice. Uh, those big guys hurt though, All right? We're in, where are we? We're in the Rust Lands. I feel like we're in Mad Max now. Let's take out these guys. What are these things like? Crawfish? I don't even know what these things are. Ow, they hurt though. Come on. Saber two tigers hurt too, man. Everything's hurting now. All right, our armor leveled up again. So let's give him, we're gonna give him more armor just to keep him alive a little longer. Got our waypoint here, it's always nice. Looks like we do have a time rift to go through. Go into the Verdant Lakes. All right, so we're in the Verdant Lakes. Don't really know what we're doing here. So we're just gonna explore it, see what happens. Looks like we're fighting more dinosaur-like creatures. Ow, sir, that hurt. Got some raptors that we gotta kill. Another big guy. He needs to keep that tail to himself. Ooh, big raptors. Ooh, I am taking damage. Give me that health potion. Give me that one too. Lots of shards, more health potions. <laughs> hey, we got 20 swords out though. How many do you think we can get out today? Somebody keep a counter for me. Man, this place hurts. Gotta be careful here. Little freaking insect things. We definitely need to get some higher health regen though. We're not having to hit potions to, or rely on potions to heal. The void resistance shard and a, another um, idol for a caster that wasn't even our kind of idol. I'm gonna put our shield up just to get some extra armor. Oof. Oh! Man, these boys are hurting. Another one that's not for... Oh, these are for us. Okay. So these are class-specific ones. That's nice. Our, our pet died, so let's get him back out. Nice little rune of shattering waiting for us up here. I think I need to upgrade my gear, because I am still using lower-level gear. These guys are doing some serious damage. This is a level 38 area. We are 38, so it's not like we're under-leveled. All right, boss time. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. I'm sorry. All right, come on, big flower monster thing. Try to get some swords spawned up. Man, I am just taking all kinds of damage here. Oh, he's doing the AOE thing again. Stop that. I said stop it. I don't even know what you call this thing, a mutated flower? We're, we're wearing them down. Oh, no, 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 no. I said stop doing that. Oh, God. No, we all stop. We've got to run out of potions. Ow! Hey, we got him. He dropped a... This relic's actually guaranteed to drop when you kill him. It does have increased mana regen. And physical spell damage, which... Forge Strike is a melee attack, so it's not spell damage. What are we using over here? Some resistances. Uh, I think we're going to put this on for now, just for the mana regen. Alright, let's get out of here. Because this place hurts. Uh, let's find the waypoint real quick. Rune of Shattering and Entombment Shard. I want to grab those. There we go. So now that we got a little bit more mana regen, we should be able to cast more Forge Strikes out. Get these guys down. We might say, forget the waypoint and just get out of here. Is that how hard these things hit? Alright, 
I don't feel like looking for the waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and teleport back to where we need to go. All right, so we're back here from before we went into the time rift. So we're gonna go past that. We're gonna grab this shrine. Ooh, shrine of shards. These are nice to get because it's nice to get the crafting shards. And that's a dead end. Hey, Mr. Wrong Way again. Turn around the time rift. Don't go in it. Can't tell you how many times I've accidentally gone into time rifts trying to get past them. So we're gonna go up and around here because that's where our quest marker is telling us to go. Got another blue here. And see, these guys don't hit me nearly as hard. I like this place. Got these crawl dad fish thingies, whatever these things are. Some more saber tooths. I know we need to upgrade our shield soon because we've been using the shield since like level five. Really, like level ten, but still, same thing. All right, quit spitting poison at me. So we've gotten two bosses down so far. I wonder if we're going to get to a third before the end of the video. Hey, we hit level 39 though. That's always nice. Stand down or die. Yeah, I got to say it. We're just going to avoid all that poison on the ground. Get these guys out. I think I'm going to take more Thornbell just because of how hard I've been getting hit. So let's go ahead and do this level up. So this is now base 100 additional armor with 100 damage. Looks like we can get 200 base armor with uh, 200 damage back. That'll be nice. That way with all these guys hitting us, we can do damage back. And we're just going to take more damage from our shields. So basically whenever we put our shields up, we do more damage to, uh, with our melee attacks. So that's always nice. So one cool thing about um, something that's coming out soon is they're actually about to put out a rogue update which will give us a whole new class so i'm going to do some videos on that uh, once that comes out probably not a full series but i am very excited for it so look forward to that with me all right we're in the lower sewers don't like being in sewers but hey it's where we need to go let's talk to alric again so i feel like there's going to be a lot of poison in here yep the slimes and poison gases i bet it's stinky down here Get away from me. I don't want to be poisoned. Stop your nonsense. All right, skeletons. I'm okay with skeletons. Throw as many undead at me as you want. Just, ugh, these freaking slimes and poison gases and just don't like it. Don't, don't like that at all. A couple more blues to kill here. Get some more XP. Chance of drops. Health regen shard. We're gonna pick that up. Is that something that we're gonna focus on is some health regen uh, later on when we start crafting? It's a poison resist shards. That way, if we do take damage, we're just going to regen it back. Instead of having to rely on potions all the time. Alright. You guys die, you stupid little crawfish looking things. Definitely getting more shards to drop, so that's nice. Ow. Bad. Don't do that. Throw some worms, some more ugly crawfish, and some skeletons. Added health shard, that's always nice. So all these shards we're getting, um, as I explained in the earlier videos, are stuff that you can add to your armor by crafting. So definitely going to be working on that. I'll do a full video on the crafting system when we get to that point. These things, oh, the Osprex. So basically, if you remember in the very, very beginning, episode one, uh, the boss that we fought in the very beginning, that was an Osprex. That's a whole faction of people um, that is attacking your timeline. So the fact that they're here in this timeline is it's kind of cool. Just fighting our way through a damn sewer. These headless skeleton things are shooting blood at us. And they have a chance to dodge, so that makes them uh, tankier. And uh, in some of the echoes, there's a modifier that gives an increased chance to dodge, and it is literally the the worst one. I I will take any, and I mean any modifier besides that one, because it makes them dodge so much that you just have to sit there and fight the same enemies for like five minutes just to kill them because you're missing so much. And there's no way to increase your chance to hit against them. It's just a flat percentage to miss. Ooh, hybrid health leech. 
scrap that. And an attunement shard. Let's keep moving. Take these guys out. Get out of all of this poison. Luckily, the poison is not hitting us too terribly hard. I thought we'd be taking more damage, but hey, I'll take it. Or in this case, I won't take it. Kill some Ospreys off. All right, can I move now? Thank you. These things are so weird. Like, they move so slow and then they just jump at you. Take some more blues out. That way we get some more XP. We have to begin to the end of the sewer. Some good shards there, and some glyphs, so it's always nice to get. Let's keep moving. Ugh, I want to get that health shard. Uh, okay, poison didn't hurt all that bad, so it's not actually poisoning me. It just does poison damage, so that's good. Uh, getting poisoned a bunch hurts, so luckily we're avoiding that. Hey, Ford Strike leveled up again. Now we're gonna have a chance to summon great axes. So that's gonna be cool. We've got 14 swords out. Oh, our pet died. Let's get that back up. Somebody, uh, for real, keep a counter of how many swords we get out. Like, what is the max amount of swords that we've gotten out? Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna see this great axe when it spawns. All right, so we finally made it out of the sewer. We got to our waypoint. This is where we're going to call it. We actually got to kill two bosses, so that's really cool. We leveled up Forge Strike a couple of times, or one time to get to the uh, Great Axes. Um, we definitely killed a lot of good enemies, got a lot of crafting shards, as you can see. Got some new uh, idols that we're going to have to take a look at, see if they're useful. Um, but all in all, it's a good run. So thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think by leaving a like and a comment. And please, please become a defender of the Sanctuary by subscribing. Let's keep growing this community to be the big safe place that I want it to be, that I know it can be, and that we all need right now. So definitely come hang out with us, subscribe, just have fun, and be safe out there.